New Girl is a very well-crafted piece of television, and it's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's currently one of the most popular things on Netflix, and it has been for the past several years, and I honestly think that every character has traits that make them endearing, lovable characters that stick with you long after you finish the series. That being said, there is one character that I hate enough to actually make a video about, and that character is none other than the widely disliked and almost universally hated Elizabeth. So wait a second, Sam, you're making a video about Elizabeth. I mean, she's only in seven episodes, that seems like a pretty minor character to focus on. And the answer is yes, because I'm currently rewatching New Girl, and she's infuriated me to the point that I just, I have to. But Elizabeth was Schmidt's college girlfriend, who was the first girl Schmidt was ever with in his life. Schmidt as we know him is a self-absorbed, status-obsessed person who on the surface bases his entire life and personality off of what other people and Michael Keaton thinks of him. Elizabeth is the antithesis of all of this. This in itself isn't a big deal because, I mean, hey, the saying opposites attract is used for a reason beyond just magnets, and I mean, the show even has this as the reason that they broke up in the first place. But the issue for me comes in when we look at Elizabeth's character for who she is. Elizabeth's character is focused on staying the exact same. It's not that she's a self-confident person who doesn't care what other people think, it's that she is actively not a great person at several points and hides it behind the guise of self-confidence. She doesn't want Schmidt to be confident and proud of who he's worked hard to become, but instead just wants him to regress to the point that he was at in college when he needed her to have any confidence at all. She's constantly forcing food on him, which is fine if she didn't do it with the sole purpose of trying to fatten him up like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. And look, I have no problem with her being the same weight and same person she was in college, but Schmidt has clearly moved on to bigger and better things. He's grown in many ways besides just learning portion control. And in one of the first scenes we see her, she forces him to eat an entire pizza in front of her strictly for her satisfaction. And while Schmidt does enjoy the pizza and loves the cheese, the underlying problem is still present. Just because Schmidt loves the pizza doesn't mean that she did it to him to show him that he loved the pizza. She had him eat the pizza so she wouldn't have to feel bad about herself eating pizza. During her time on the show, she refuses to take even a single introspective look at herself. And it's one thing to be self-confident in who you are, but it's an entirely different situation to force someone else into that lifestyle solely because you refuse to change. She constantly tells Schmidt she doesn't want to feel bad about herself, but constantly makes Schmidt feel awful about who he is now. She doesn't want Schmidt, she wants fat Schmidt. Her entire shtick is trying to force Schmidt to fall back into the toxic habits he's formed in college when they were together. Let's take a look at when she visits him at work for the first time. She's wearing an old Y2 Kitty shirt from college, and there's nothing really wrong with that, but what is wrong about her outfit is when you look around them. They're clearly in a sophisticated workplace where the people are dressed in business attire. The women are wearing skirts or pants suits, and the man in the office is wearing a suit and tie. Schmidt questions her choice in attire, and she berates him for questioning her shirt and screams at him in the hallway because she knew he couldn't change back. Once again, indicating that she doesn't want Schmidt for Schmidt, but instead just wants the old Schmidt back the Schmidt who let her indulge as many bad habits as she wants. She refuses to let him make her feel bad about herself when she literally just got into a fight with Schmidt's coworker and possibly his boss. I mean, it's one thing to stand up for yourself in a mature way, but if someone in your significant other's workplace called you spooky, your immediate response should not be to cuss and threaten physical violence against them. This once again shows she doesn't care about Schmidt or anything he's done or worked for these past years and only cares about herself. She's angry at Schmidt for changing when she has been unable or unwilling to change a single aspect about herself from that time. Look at the ending of this episode, where he comes crawling back to her in his old college clothes that don't fit him anymore, and she just takes him back. She takes him back not because he's comfortable with who he is now, but because she doesn't have to face the fact that she isn't comfortable in her own skin. It's obvious that she thinks people look down on her for who she is and has some inferiority complex that she forces on Schmidt for the limited time that they're together. She isn't okay with who she is, but she isn't willing to make any changes because she views the new Schmidt as change and she tries to destroy who Schmidt's become. See, one of my biggest problems I have with Elizabeth is that she isn't really fat or that unhealthy, but she's trying to force Schmidt to turn back down an incredibly unhealthy path. Schmidt was very fat, like so fat as he put it. Look at what Schmidt looks like in college and what he looks like during the show. It's clear which Schmidt is going to live a long time and which Schmidt is going to drop dead of heart problems before the age of 60. She's trying to force him to go back to the awful way he lived his life before he graduated. And she knows it, because she knows who Schmidt is deep down. He's just an insecure kid who yearns for the acceptance of the people around him, and she uses that to manipulate him into doing things that he wouldn't normally do. Let's quickly ask ourselves, who forced Schmidt to lose the weight and become a marketing executive in the first place? That's right, it was Schmidt. Schmidt wanted to be a marketing executive because someone once told him that that's what a man does. He took that outside input and internalized it to become his own thoughts and opinions. He became the image of a cool guy he had in his head and lived his life according to that image. 
quick spoiler for How I Met Your Mother ahead, so if you haven't finished that show yet, uh, I'll put a timestamp to skip to right here. But it's just like Barney in How I Met Your Mother, where he used to be a hippie, but he created an entire persona just to get revenge on the guy he used to serve coffee to, aka his boss. His personality is over the top, and he exaggerated most of his qualities in order to fit into the lifestyle he imagined someone like that would live. Schmidt is the exact same way. He embodied the ideal image he had in his head of a boss and worked every day to achieve that boss status. This is why a lot of his traits are so over the top and the things he does are so out of the ordinary. It's because that's what he thinks someone like that would do, not what he actually wants to do. But he's become so invested in this persona that he can no longer distinguish between the two anymore. So this imaginary bar he set for himself is the only thing that drives him forward. And Elizabeth is the counter to all of this growth he's undergone, because she knows that this persona is just that, a persona, and it's not who Schmidt really was before. But that's the thing, it's been almost a decade if not longer since they were together, and to expect Schmidt to have remained the same or try to force him to go back to that guy after all this time, it's just kind of outrageous in my opinion. Schmidt could have walked away at any point too, and he definitely should have after Cece's wedding. I mean, come on, the girl he's been in love with since the pilot episode just cancelled her wedding and professed her love for you. Schmidt took Elizabeth to the wedding and he was given the choice between who he wants to be with. He had a perfect opportunity to make a clean break and move on with the love of his life. But he doesn't do that. And I never said Schmidt wasn't at fault for it, but the issue I have with Elizabeth is that she knows he's insecure and wants acceptance over everything else and she still manipulates him anyway. She says she loves him all the time, but honestly she doesn't even seem to love herself all that much and that would have eventually killed the relationship in the end anyway. Because either Schmidt throws away everything he's worked for and falls back into the insecure self-image he had in college, or he realizes he's happy the way he is now and Elizabeth leaves him because of it. Either way, there isn't really a happy ending in store for them together. Honestly, she was just a throwaway character that was used to add drama into the show and give him and Cece other romantic options besides each other. It was just a stall because anyone who's watched the show knows how Cece and Schmidt end up, so honestly she just seems to be a bad person for the sake of being a bad person. And this is another problem I have, she was only added strictly to keep the main characters apart. A sitcom's not a great place if all the characters are happy together because there isn't as much room for drama or laughs in a healthy adult relationship. Nick and Jess were already together, so having two of the other main characters being together wouldn't have allowed for the plot lines they had planned for the future, so splitting them up was the only way forward. And I understand that the character of Elizabeth is necessary, because without Elizabeth, Cece either marries Chevrang or she ends up dating Schmidt and another issue is needed to split them up. This way, with Schmidt cheating on her, it gives her only one reason not to be with him, which is easier to forgive, or in this case seemingly forget, than them not being meant to be together or breaking up because they're different people. Not saying that cheating is easily forgivable, but in this situation it's easier than them being wrong for each other. But I digress. The character of Elizabeth was made to be unlikable for the sole purpose of making the audience happily forget about her when she served her role in splitting up Cece and Schmidt. And that's all I've got. Let me know in the comments below who your least favorite new girl character is. Uh, besides that, remember to subscribe to be the first to see when I upload. And besides that, as always, I've been Semantics. Have a great day today, everybody.